Also right now at 6, a viewing just getting underway for 15-year-old Delvin Farrell, the Southeast Raleigh Magnet High School student killed nearly two weeks ago in a fight on campus. We have our Josh Chapin uh, in Zebulon this evening where family and friends of that young 15-year-old are uh, beginning to pay their respects yet again. Good evening, Josh. Yeah, good evening, Dewan. It is hard to imagine what this family's been going through the last couple of weeks. I spoke with them this afternoon over the phone. Understandably, they are asking for space at this time. Delvin's uncle I did talk to for a few minutes this afternoon. He told me simply that the public school system, in this case, of course, the Wake County public school system, needs to do a better job protecting all of its children. We have seen a steady stream of family and friends going into this funeral home in Zebulon for tonight's viewing for Delvin Farrell. It is right near the downtown drag here in Debbie. And you'll remember just this horrible story from Southeast Raleigh High School just about two weeks ago. A 14 year old now accused of stabbing students during a fight inside the high school gym. Two students were taken to the hospital and 15 year old Delvin later died. The motive, as we know, is still unknown. Classes were canceled at the high school for a couple of days. The superintendent, Dr. Robert Taylor, who had just started his tenure with the school system, has called the violence unacceptable and vowed to review the district's policies and processes. The uncle said this is a tragedy for both families. The funeral for Delvin is tomorrow at 1.30 in Wendell. Just uh, a tragedy. I think we can't emphasize that enough, Dewan, for both families here involved. Back to you. Yeah, a lot of folks will be showing up tomorrow to again pay their final respects uh, for that, that, that young 15-year-old. Josh, again, live for us this evening. Thank you.